Let us study about pressure. Students, it is easy to cut with a sharp knife than a blunt one, isn't it? Similarly, if you press a thumb pin with your finger on both the sides of the pin, you will experience more pain while pressing on the pointed side than on the blunt or the flat side. In the same way, the pointed heel of the shoe of a girl exerts more pressure than a flat shoe. We come to know that force has a role in exerting pressure. A force applied in large area gives less pressure, but the same force applied in smaller area exerts more pressure. Students, from the above explanation, we have understood that force in unit area is pressure. Thus, pressure is defined as the force per unit area. Force is measured in Newton, denoted by the capital N of the English alphabet, and the area is measured in meter square. Hence, pressure is equal to force by area, or P is equal to F by A, where P denotes pressure, F denotes force, and A denotes area. Students, the unit of measurement of pressure is Pascal or pressure is measured in Pascal. Look at the following examples. The first example says, if the weight of an elephant is 40,000 Newton, and it can stand on one foot, which occupies 1,000 centimeters square, how much pressure does it exert? Here is the solution. Students, the weight of the elephant, or F, is equal to 40,000 Newton. The area occupied by one foot or A is equal to 1,000 centimeter square. Now converting it into meter square, we divide it by 10,000. And hence we get 1 by 10 meter square. Now let us calculate pressure by using the relation pressure is equal to force by area. Or this is equal to 40,000 divided by 1 by 10, which is equal to 40,000 into 10 Newton per meter square, or 400,000 Newton per meter square. Therefore, the elephant exerts 400,000 Newton per meter square pressure. Now, look at the other example. The question says, the weight of a girl is 400 Newton. She stands on one foot and the heel of her shoe occupies one centimeter square. What force does her shoe exert? Here is the solution. Students, the weight of the girl or the force is equal to 400 Newton. The area occupied by the heel of her shoe, that is A, is equal to one centimeter square. Converting it into meter square, we divide it by 10,000. Hence, area is equal to 1 by 10,000 meter square. Now, let us use the relation pressure is equal to force by area. We have the values of force and area, so let us substitute them in this relation. And we write P is equal to 400 newton by 1 by 10,000. This gives us 400 into 10,000, or 4 million Newton per meter square. Now, if one Newton force is applied in one square meter surface area, the pressure exerted on that area is 1 Pascal. Thus, 1 Pascal is equal to 1 Newton per meter square. Students, now let us look at another example. It says, let a truck of weight 60,000 Newton occupy 5 square meter and a minibus of weight 30,000 Newton occupy the same surface area. What is the pressure exerted by both of them? Now, let us solve for this. First of all, for pressure of the truck, we have been given the weight or force that is F1 is equal to 60,000 Newton. The area, or A1, is equal to 5 meter square, 
and we have to calculate the pressure that is P1. Similarly, for the pressure of minibus, the weight given or the force that is F2 is equal to 30,000 Newton, area denoted by A2 is equal to 5 meter square, and we have to calculate the pressure or P2 exerted by the minibus. Students, first for solving for the truck, we have the relation P1 equals F1 by A1. Now let us substitute the given values and we write P1 is equal to 60,000 by 5, which gives us 12,000 Newton per meter square. Similarly, solving for the minibus, P2 is equal to F2 by A2. Now let us substitute the value of F2 and A2 in this equation and we write 30,000 by 5 is equal to 6,000 Newton per meter square. Therefore, the pressure of the truck was 12,000 Newton per meter square and the pressure of the minibus was 6,000 Newton per meter square. Here is another example. It says, what will be the difference in pressure exerted by 5,000 Newton cement when placed in a box of 10 meter square and 5 meter square respectively. Here is the solution. Students, in the large box, the force or F1 is equal to 5000 Newton and area that is A1 is equal to 10 meter square that is area of the box. Similarly, for the small box, the force exerted is F2 is equal to 5000 Newton and the area of the box is A2, that is 5 meter square. Now, we have, first for the large box, P1 is equal to F1 by A1, which is equal to 5000 by 10, which gives us 500 Newton per meter square, that is 500 Pascal. Similarly, for the small box, we have the relation P2 is equal to F2 by A2, that gives us 5,000 by 5 or 1,000 Newton per meter square, which is 1,000 Pascal.